Hey guys, kind of messy hair, don't care. I don't know where my hairbrush is and my feet hurt too much to want to search around either in my room or the bathroom for it. I don't think it's upstairs. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, yesterday was my first day of New York Comic Con. And let me tell you, overall, it was amazing. I mean, especially for being Friday the 13th. Although, I haven't had bad luck on Friday the 13th since I got into the Beatles when I was 14, so. But, uh, day started with my friend coming over, um, you know, we were doing, um, the last minute things, making sure that we had everything, and, um, doing makeup and stuff like that before we were taking off. I was driving the two of us to the train station to get on the train to go into the city. Well, we did that, and wound up talking to this rather interesting guy on the train, and then another guy got on there uh, who was going to Comic-Con. We started talking to him, and it turns out he was talking about, you know, hey, if you guys are in here long enough, I'm probably going to this bar restaurant thing around 8 o'clock, and he's talking about uh, we somehow we got onto karaoke, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, I know a really good karaoke spot, and said the address, and I was like, wouldn't that be funny if it was Iggy's, which is a karaoke bar that an acquaintance of mine is the DJ for, and then he says, it's called Iggy's, and I was like, oh my god, really? I know the DJ at that place, and he's like, wait, you know Brooke? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, check out Iggy's. It is a really cool place. You know, she's always advertising it. She's the DJ there, does the karaoke stuff. Um, I have not been able to go personally yet, but A, I love karaoke, and B, she's just a really cool person. And the videos and pictures that she has posted in the past on her Facebook look really awesome. So, um, anyway, you know, he, he was awesome talking to, and um, we ended up exchanging Facebooks. So, my friend requested him. Um, he walked with us most of the way to the Javits Center, and before we split, because he had to go to a different area, um, something with his ticket. Anyway, um, I was like, okay, wait, hang on, what's your name? And uh, got his name, put it in. I was like, okay, this is you. You know, a friend requested him, and there we go. So, uh, me and my friend get into the Javits Center, and we kind of explore a little bit, find out, you know, where things are, where we have to go for, like, the Buffy panel that we were going to, and that was right in the same area that they were doing the photo ops and autographs for some of the more high-profile guests, like Chris Evans, Ewan McGregor, um, I guess David Tennant was in that area, too. So were uh, two or three other people. I'm not exactly sure who, because this year I'm only going for Chris Evans and Tom Hiddleston on Sunday. So we get into the Buffy panel, luckily, because apparently you had to reserve... Um, uh, you had to make a reservation for that. I don't know. It wasn't exactly ticketed, but we were in the standby line, and it's like, oh, okay, freaking great. I don't know if I'm going to make it in here, but we did, and I got some pictures, which I will uh, put right here. And it was pretty cool. They talked about the audible release of the Slayerverse story and everything. And I, I, I really do kind of want to listen to it because three of the characters are Cordelia Chase, Anya, and uh, Tara. And if you remember back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show in the 90s, and Angel, the spinoff of Buffy, Cordelia dies in Angel. Anya dies at the end of, uh, the, in the season finale of Buffy, and Tara dies in the season, in the season finale-ish of season six. So, how are they characters? <laughs> I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Um... But yeah, the panel was awesome. Um, I can finally share this because unfortunately things didn't pan out with it. But, you know, it, it was still awesome to be able to message him back and forth. I am friends with James Leary on Facebook. And some of you may recognize his name as the actor who played Clem.
the kind of floppy-eared, wrinkly demon in season six and seven of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's the one who would gamble with kittens. <laughs> Although, fairly nice demon other than the kitten thing. Um, anyway, again, I'll put a picture right here of him. Hmm. So, that's him. Um, as Clem and as, you know, what he would normally look like, just as a person. Um, but anyway, we were Facebook messaging back and forth because I had commented on one of his statuses where he was promoting the Slayerverse Audible. And I was saying, you know, I am so going to try to get to this panel. I'm mostly there because of Chris Evans and Tom Hiddleston. And he, I think, I think more jokingly than, than anything else, but he asked, hey, can I photobomb with you and Chris Evans? And I was like, oh my God, yes. So I messaged him and I was like, dude, I am totally game for that. So we were talking back and forth and, you know, we agreed that at the end of the panel, I would come up, um, you know, at, at least as close to the stage as I could, and we could talk and figure out, you know, where he could meet, uh, meet me for the photo op. So I was like, okay, you know, that's going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> like two celebrities in this photo op. Like, ah. <laughs> so, um, at the end of the panel, I did walk down to the stage. Unfortunately, there was this like gated thing about eight feet from the stage. Um, and I was like, mm, can I really kind of squeeze through this thing and like get right up to the stage? I don't know how, how uh, you know, intelligent that is going to be for me to do. But <clears throat> I tried it anyway, and he did see me. But unfortunately, I think, I, I don't know if he didn't recognize me from my profile picture or whatever, um, but he thought I was trying to get the attention of another actor that was on the stage. And so he walked off and uh, the one who he thought I was trying to get the attention of looked at me and I was like, no, I was trying to talk to him. <laughs> but... Um, so I Facebook messaged him and, you know, told him that from my perspective. I was like, I think you thought I was trying to get this person's attention. I was trying to get yours. I mean, at least we saw one another. Like, are you still going to meet me for the photo op? It's down in this area. And he did answer me back and he was like, yeah, unfortunately it was a crazy day. I did see you, you know, that is what happened. Um... But, you know, things didn't pan out. Uh, when he messaged me back, he was already with the other actors there back at the hotel, and they were all going to dinner together. So, yeah, you know, oh well. <laughs> it would have been awesome to... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> would have been awesome to have him in that photo op with me, but, oh well, you know, not everything's going to pan out. So... After that, you know, uh, my friend and I were kind of wandering around for a little while, went to the vendor floor. Um, I happened to pick up, I happened to completely accidentally find the McElroy booth. And all four of them, the three brothers and their father, were there uh, yesterday. And unfortunately, I didn't see any of them because I guess when they were signing was when I was in the Buffy panel. And it's like... I'm sorry, I'm not missing the Buffy panel and the chance with James Leary and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah. So, um, another friend of mine, he lives in California. He is a fan of theirs, and he's, he's the only reason I have any knowledge of anything about them. But he is, his favorite campaign of theirs that they have done, uh, you know, like the, they do D&D &D podcast kind of things. Um, th to be honest, I'm not exactly sure. I could be getting stuff completely wrong there. If you know, you know, put it in the comments because I would love more information. But anyway, uh, they did one called Amnesty where it was basically, um, their characters investigating the whole Mothman thing in West Virginia, I think it is. And they released these pins to commemorate that, celebrate it, you know, whatever it is. And this was the pin that I got for myself back when I saw them at Awesome Con in June. And so I figured, you know what? Amnesty is his favorite. Let's get him this pin. So that's what I did. And I also got 
a few others. Hold on one second. There we go. I got these pins glow in the dark, which is really cool. I haven't seen it yet, but you know, they were advertised as that and like, I'll, I'll see later. But anyway, <laughs> I got a Captain America one. I got a Loki one. I was wearing the Captain America one. That's why it's off the backing. And I got a Bruce slash Hulk one. And I just, I love them. They had it advertised as buy two, get one free. So I was like, okay, yeah, we're getting these. I might, I'll see how my feet hold up. I might go back and see about getting uh, maybe three more because they had, you know, they had more than uh, just the Avengers, obviously, with the inclusion of Loki, but they had more than just the uh, six core Avengers. They had Scarlet Witch, they had Vision, they, I think they had Sam. Um, what else did they have? I, I don't really remember, but I would love to get a Thor one, definitely. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see what's left, because Sunday's going to be the last day of the con. But, I mean, hopefully, you know, maybe people are reducing prices tomorrow and stuff like that. So, that'd be cool. <laughs> they did, like, buy two, get two free or something like that. Um, I also got a blind bag from that same booth. And in the blind bag, you know what, I'm going to show that last because it's the coolest. But in the blind bag, I got a Valkyrie sticker. And I got a Captain America postcard, which I freaking love. And then I got a Sam Wilson keychain. Can you see that? I don't know how well. I'm trying to catch the light with it. Eh, nope. That's a glare. <laughs> Anyway, though, I didn't find any plushy booths where they were selling things like that. Um, again, maybe if I feel like walking around on Sunday a little bit, I will, but we'll see. Um, it depends on how much my feet hurt, because I did not make the greatest choices yesterday with shoes. Um, I was wearing this pair of wedge sneakers that have a heel that's like this, and unfortunately the ball of my foot just, it could not handle it. Um, you know, while, heck, we were walking, we weren't even to the Javits Center yet, and my feet were just like, yeah, no, we're not going to be able to deal with this. And so I changed into the silver flats that I have that I just got. And, you know, when I initially tried them on and walked around a little bit, they were fine. But when I changed into them and wore them the rest of the way to the Javits Center, I was just like, oh, holy crap, these are tearing up my heels. So I, I didn't bother, you know, asking around for any band-aids or anything like that. I should really bring some with me when I go to cons. But um, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to put the socks back on and keep these silver flats on. And my feet were basically okay. Um, I did still have to bandage my heels this morning, but, you know, they, they survived. I don't think they got any more torn up as I was walking yesterday. I will say though, the MVP, what just fell? I have no idea what that sound was. Anyway, the MVP of yesterday. Give me one second, I gotta open it. was this particular Amazon purchase. Ugh. There we go. Literally a collapsible stool. You can buy them on Amazon for, um, depending on the kind you get, because I got one with a little cushion seat, and to be honest, I didn't know that until it arrived. But, um, yeah, I think the cushion seats are around 25 but you can find them on Amazon for like $20 to $35. And let me tell you, this thing was a lifesaver. And I'm going to be bringing this to all the cons that I go to from now on. And it just folds up into this nice little thing. It comes with a bag, uh, which is useful because this thing comes off very easily. 
uh, so I keep it in the bag, but it comes with this little, not all of them do, but it does come with this little keychain thing. So I was able to just hook it onto my backpack and walk, and it was great. This thing was freaking amazing. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely falls under, you know, under the category of greatest purchases I've ever made. So, um, meeting Chris Evans. I, again, the photo ops are incredibly quick, but, you know, you still get in there, you can say hi, you know, you could say a little bit, and you get the photo taken, and then you're off, but still, it was just, just to be in the same space as Captain America. It was amazing. <laughs> and he was wearing this really, really soft jacket. Like, oh my God, it felt so nice. And it's like, <laughs> I, I get to say I had my armor on Chris Evans and he had his armor on my shoulders and oh my God. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm going to put the picture of it up. So yeah, Peace Day Resistance. I got to meet Chris Evans. I I. I can't believe it happened. Unfortunately, we weren't able to bring any of the props with us that we had. You know, I didn't want to bring the book bag, but I brought my... Uh, let me see if I can get him up without knocking a bunch of stuff over. I brought my finished Captain America doll with me. He's kind of messed up because I was carrying him all around yesterday, obviously. But I brought my finished Captain America doll with me yesterday. was carrying him around the entire day. Got a bunch of compliments from people, which was awesome. But, <clears throat> but, um, unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to have him or my shield in the photo op. So, like, that kind of sucked. But, oh well. Um, hopefully, that's not going to be the same case for Tom Hiddleston tomorrow. Uh, I am going to bring my Loki doll, but I'm not going to worry about trying to finish Thor because, you know, why am I going to carry around two dolls if I can't have either one of them in the photo op? I'd rather just have one and be told no or, you know, have one that is Loki and be able to have him in the photo op. So here's hoping. Um, but yeah. So after uh, the Chris Evans photo op, we went out and then met up with another friend of mine who lives in Brooklyn, who was actually off work yesterday. And so that's why he was able to meet us right after uh, the photo op, because otherwise it would have been like 7.30, 8 o'clock after he got off. In, in which case I would have been like, hey, dude, I'm sorry, but we're heading back to the train because we're just dead. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we met up and he... Um, directed us to this mall that was was fairly close to the Javits Center and on the way to uh, back to the train and there was a Shake Shack in there so we ate the you know well we didn't eat in the Shake Shack because it was freaking crowded as all hell but there were seats nearby it so we just got it to go I found seats and I was just like yeah I'm, I'm sitting down I don't want to get up again <laughs> If one of you can bring me my food, that'd be great. I'll hold the table, make sure nobody else claims it. <laughs> so that's exactly what we did. And I don't know, for maybe it's just because it was more of a food court-ish Shake Shack. I, I was not that impressed with the food. I really wasn't. Um, I mean, it was okay. And I was freaking starving, so at that point I was going to eat anything and say, oh my god, this is the most delicious thing I've ever had. But objectively speaking, it, it honestly wasn't that good. I don't know. <laughs> I want to go to one of the other Shake Shack locations, because I, I think there's one like in Central Park or something like that. I don't know. I want to go to another location, you know, because I'm not going to judge it on what is essentially a mall food court um, kind of thing. And, oh yeah, let me, uh, so this is the Retin Link tattoo that I got. Um, it still has the medical, medical grade bandage, thing, you know, clear bandage thing over it. I take that off on Monday night. Um, so yeah, that's why it looks kind of blobby and, you know, like my skin looks weird because you can see, like, this is the edge of the bandage. Um... But yeah, so 
all in all, yesterday was awesome. Um, after dinner, we got back, we got back to the train station. We got on the train just in time because it was boarding when we got there. And yeah, we came home. Um, and I was on my computer for a little while and then I crawled into bed and passed out in like 20 minutes. <laughs> so here is hoping that tomorrow is just as, just as, or potentially more amazing. Uh, my plan is to go in there, probably get a cab to the Javits Center. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, because it's at noon, is Tom Hiddleston's photo op. I'm going to get that. And then what I think I'm going to do is see how my feet feel and maybe walk around the vendor floor a little bit more. Uh, like I said, maybe go back to the stand with these pins and see if I can get a few more. Um... Barring that, though, if I just can't do the walking, I'm going to leave the Javits Center, I'm going to get a cab, and I'm going to go back to the train station and just immediately catch a train home. Because the important thing tomorrow, just like yesterday, is Tom Hiddleston. So, thanks for watching, guys. I know this was a longer one, and I will see you next time. Bye.